Bye. Hold on. Let me get this up. There it is. Okay, good. And it's already on mute. That is very good. Oh, shoot. You know what? I need my glasses. Glasses. Hello. Happy weekend, people. I hope your weekend is all going well. That doesn't help me. Not even a little. Hi, Pat. <laughs> Uh, oh, I see him. Hold on. I gotta have him now. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Is it fall yet? <sighs> no, but I'll tell you what. I was just going to say that, too, on the way in. Hi, Shauna. Hi, Selkie. I was going to say that it's starting to get dusky, and it's not even 730 yet. So it is, it's coming. It is coming and it's not quite so hot like today it was 77 when I left I don't know what it is now but it seems cooler like at night it's a little cooler here and oh my goodness okay my hair is I just put my hair up today guys so you're just gonna have to live with it <laughs> how quiet the group was today right all right now, let me put this on live chat or else I'll be in trouble. So, hello, 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 everyone. Who did I miss? Steven, Lene, Fairy World, Nurturing Compassion. I like it. Autumn was the first one in. Pat and Shauna Selkie caught the live stream at the beginning. Yay, right? Hi, Janice. Hi, Lee. Um, did it skip? Maybe. Okay. Hi, Kelsey. And anybody else that I'm missing? I'm over in CT. We slept with windows. Oh, in Connecticut. We slept with windows open last night, right? I can't wait to get rid of my, um, my air conditioner out of my bedroom window. I can't do it for a while, though, because, oh, I got to sleep with the cool. But I'm with you. I would love to. Hi, Hexen. A little love. Okay, yeah. My hair is totally screwed. I really just, just threw it up today, guys. So, you'll have to live. Hi, Rowan. So, um, yesterday, actually, before I left work, I ordered um, two tarot decks that were at my local Barnes & Noble. And you can kind of order and pay for it online and then go pick it up. Which sometimes is dangerous. <laughs> because I get money, like I can usually get a sale. I found the Little Witch Hat Feet stickers you talked about at the Dollar Tree. Aw, cute. That's a good idea to use them for your grimoire. That's a great idea. Um, hi, Michelle. You're looking so adorable. Ah, thank you. So, um, I supposedly, you're supposed to wait until they email you to tell you that they have it ready for you, which I'm like, whatever. I could just go pick them up on the shelf, but whatever. So I wanted to go last night, but eh, no. Nope. So I waited, 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 and finally I was like, you know what? It's getting late. <laughs> Aw, thank you, Trisha. You guys are too sweet to me. Um, and I have my, oh, I almost said my Maddie. I miss my Maddie. Hi, Jack. My Lucy. My Lucy. I had to get used to saying that. My Lucy keys on. Um, so, hi, witchy, mom, uh, witchy mom. <laughs> so, I finally called them, and I'm like, hey, I haven't got my email. And she's like, oh, well, they're here. I'm like, well, where the hell is my email? She said, well, we don't send them out. The, um, it's supposed to be the main office or something. I'm like, well, how do they know when it's ready? Anyways, whatever. So then, when I go to pick them up, of course... I have to stop in the incredibly huge and glorious used section that we have at my Barnes & Noble, which apparently not all of you have, which makes me very sad because I love my used section. I could spend like a day and a half in my used section if I wanted to. As a matter of fact, I was looking at my clock, my clock, looking at my clock, looking at my watch thinking, all right, I don't want to get too late, so I better head out. 
But I, there's times I will sit on the floor and go through books because they have them sectioned off a little bit. They have sectioned off by, um, hi, Rochelle, by subject. But a lot of them, like the, all the dollar books, are just shoved into a section. So I like have to go through all that stuff, of course. <laughs> but I found, what did I find? I found one dollar book. I found two, but then I was like, I don't know if I need it. So I put one back. I found one dollar book and one in the used section. And then I found another book that I paid full price for, which is pretty rare for me. But I'm really excited about it. So I'm going to show you the books first. And then we'll get to um, the two decks that I got. Hi, Ponderous Pros. So first, I'm going to show you the new book because I really fell in love with this book. And I said, I don't know. First of all, I don't know this author. Um, and I don't know um, much about this book. I have never heard of this book. But when I saw it, it has a velvet lined cover. And it looks so cool. And then I went through it and started reading it. And I'm like, all right, I really like it. But I might have gotten taken for a velvet cover. <laughs> but how can you go wrong with a black velvet cover? Look, look, the art of which this is by Fiona Horn. But it's lovely, like really lovely. <laughs> No, not at all. I do that too, Ponderous Pros, for sure. Um, hi, Earthy Taurus. How are you? Uh, and it has, you know, the red. Look at the red. You learned from her books? Cool. Oh, I feel better now. Hi, Phelan. It has the red um, bookmark, you know, ribbon. And it's a gorgeous book. And it looks really, really good. Like, really good. Not just because it has a velvet-lined cover that I'm petting. <laughs> but also because the inside looks really, really good. Hold on, let me put my glasses on. And I'll read you. Not upside down. That would be great. Um, but it looks really, really good. So, it says, Letter to the Reader. And this is what, you've owned a few of her books? I really like this. Um, this is what really got me. Like, as soon as I read this letter to the reader, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm getting this book. So this, oh, this is a new book. First published in 2019. So this is a new book. And it says, a letter to the reader. Hi, Pam. Musings of a modern witch. Dear reader, the art of which is simple, refined truisms about practicing modern witchcraft based on how I live now as a practicing witch a journey over three dec decades. And its use may encourage you to trust your own path just as I have come to. Did somebody say new, kind of new subscriber? Oh, good. Hi, Katie. Welcome. Anybody new? I'm going to put, you know what? I finally dot, realized I can put the Facebook group in the um, down bar because I can, you know, put what's in there normally, which I will do. But until then, if you want to be in the Facebook group for the um, for our our group here for my subscribers, um, we all help each other out, and it's a really good group. Uh, you can go to my about page here on YouTube and click on the Facebook link, and that will take you to the group. And I keep kicking the cord. Sorry. Okay, velvet. Very nice velvet. <laughs> okay. Um, I forged my art of which through the act of rebirthing my life many times, getting sober, staying sober, and by identifying ways to be of service, right? I know, Rochelle, I couldn't help it. Um, it is a mindful art, which gives you the best chance to feel purposeful and whole and experience a life in which you can do things you could only once only have dreamed of doing. The public life I led for a couple of decades had me feeling increasingly forlorn, unfulfilled, and rely on alcohol and other mind-altering substances to numb my hatred of my people-pleasing existence. My steps towards sobriety and service led to me being able to fly airplanes and birth a more authentic life. I was finally at peace with myself, and now the challenges still come, but I'm better equipped to deal with them. The depression doesn't last as long. Thank you, Stephen. There's the Facebook group. 
uh, link. I appreciate it. Thank you, honey. Um, the depression doesn't last as long. I can get back on my feet faster and get back to living this one life I have more joyfully and truly earn the space I take up on the planet. This book is not a collection of a hundred spells, magical correspondences, and other recipe approaches to the craft. This book goes deeper. What hasn't been said or shared? What is useful to the world's rapidly growing and yet somewhat saturated magical community? This book is a guide to living a happy life as a witch and a manifesto for practicing witchcraft, no matter what path you follow or which tra tradition you identify with. Totally sounds like my kind of book, right? It is a code of ethics and practices to live a truly authentic and fully expressed magical life. Earn the space I take up on this planet, right? Being all my precious. <laughs> I know, right? It's so pretty. <laughs> Fiona Horn embodies the magic of do. She gets shit done. Christian Day, witch author, owner of Hex Salem in Salem and New Orleans, founder of Hexfest. This is what makes the art of witch a mindful way to live, which is different to what a lot of people, witches or not, are practicing out there. Personally, I have been doing everything in this book for many years now. I don't just read books about it or think about it. I do it. I live it. I am it. Sometimes I make mistakes and sometimes I get it right. Right? Hi, Ricky. My life in all its joy, sorrow, and service is my grand work of magic. I see it that way and so it is that way. In any case, anything is possible if you let it be. Because, like magic, you can suspend disbelief, cynicism, and fear and just for long enough and give it a go and your magical goal will manifest. Don't give up, give in, or give out. Practice the powerful skill of acceptance and transform exhaustion into euphoria, sadness into gratitude, poverty into comfort. Keep going, reinventing, rebirthing. Don't get older, get better at living. This is what I've discovered being a witch is. It is a perpetual art of transformation. The art of witch, as I have come to understand it and experience success, fulfillment, and peace with it, is the mindful, simple, eco-conscious art of living a magical life. Hi, Trudy. Doesn't that sound awesome? I'm totally intrigued. I'm like, I'm going to read this whole book tonight because <laughs> it sounds really good. So that was the first one. And that was actually $20 or so, which I never spend $20 on a book. But A, it's velvet lined. <laughs> It looks so cool, though, doesn't it? The gold foil and the velvet. It just, like, goes together. It totally got me. I, if it's not a good book, I couldn't help it. Look, at even the spine of it looks awesome. <laughs> so I had to. There was nothing I could do. <laughs> it looks super, yeah, the dragon around the rose, right? The, um, the orobus, the orobus around the rose. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay, so that was the first. She's a pretty good author. Gosh darn it. All right, I'm going to try not to step on the cord all the time. I, I'm, I, just the introduction part, I'm like, I'm reading this whole thing tonight. Okay, so I got two other books. I'll show you. This is the book that I got. She has about 10 books. No kidding. I can't believe I didn't know her. I know a lot of pagan authors, but who could say no to Velvet, right? You have to. Um, This one was just on sale in the used section. And so I paid five bucks. It's incense. She was in a band when she came out of the broom closet. That's so cool. I'll have to read up about her. Um, incense, crafting and use of magical scents. And this is by Carl Neal. Yes, she is from Australia because I read about her um, trying to read more about the book and she talks about the Aboriginal people and that kind of thing. So yes, she is. So, um, and this one looked really good because it's um, about making incense, which I love, you know, anything that can give me a new idea. I mean, I already make my own, but um, it gives you an idea of loose incense and then how to do spaghetti sticks and cylinders and cones and all that stuff. So anytime I'm learning something new, I love it. 
So I have probably, this is probably the sixth book on incense making that I have, but I can't help it. I only paid five bucks for it. So, and it gives you kind of recipes. That one is $22 on Amazon. Awesome. Thank you. I love it. Cha-ching. Um, so like cleansing, it gives you a base, uh, the liquid, the aromatics that you can put for cleansing. Earth, Japan, morning. I mean, it gives you all kinds of different recipes and stuff. So, I like it. I thought it was definitely worth five bucks for sure. Um, So, there's that one. And I feel bad now, kind of. I forgot. Peter is, he's off for three days out after tonight. And he's spending the three days. For some reason, he has it in his head that he wants to get rid of my big bookshelf. He wants to put shelves all around the room somehow. If you guys have ever seen my big bookshelf, it's on both sides and it's super heavy duty steel and it's filled. So he wants to get rid of it because he thinks it takes up too much of the room. Not that, you know, all my shit takes up too much of the room. But anyway, so he's starting tomorrow to try to find places for all these books. And here I brought more books home. But I... I'm not going to apologize. I can't, I can't believe he thinks I, what, that if he finds places for all the books I have, I'm done? <laughs> he doesn't know me very well. <laughs> okay, so uh, Jean Sh Shinoda Bolin. Uh, I love her books. Like a fancy witchy library. Yeah, like that. So, and I found one of her books for a dollar, um, which is Urgent Message from Mother. I have to say, this is the one thing, and I, I told, right? You can never have too many books. I can't stop buying books. Does he know me? <laughs> We've only been together like 28 years now. You would think he would figure out that I'm not going to make me stop buying books just because he finds a place for him. The one thing, and I did say something to um, to Barnes & Noble. When they do their, I do have, I have a slight book addiction too. When they do their used books things, they put it in the same place, which I get it, except when you do this, you cover up the rest of the title. I have books in secret in my mom's storage. It's not secret anymore, Shauna. He's right here. <laughs> so anyways, it is urgent message from mother. Gather the women, save the world. Maybe he'll figure it out by the 30th. Eh, we'll see. <laughs> um, I love this author, though. I have a lot of her books, and they are really good. But this is about... Um, women coming together and doing something different than just bitching about feminism like you know about sacred feminine and all that and she does that very well in other books that she has but this is about actually taking that and putting it into action so the back says from the first mother's day proclamation a call to women to gather and bring peace to the world to today's young women Banding together to save trees, jobs, and lives, Boland tells how and why women are uniquely suited to the task. Assembling into circles, small and large, we can change the status quo that's been in place since we lost our way home to Mother Gaia. We can use our intuition, intelligence, and courage to heal Mother Earth, our human family, and ourselves. So that sounded really good to me. I so want to start up a circle again. Um, I had... For a while, I had a sacred feminine circle um, that we did. We gathered on the new moon. Um, I will just say that I got slightly annoyed with my circle <laughs> because I, here's the thing. I did not mind being the leader. I, I, I try not to take over that role. It's hard for me. If you have to downside or Sophie's, Sophie's Choice them, you could do a book sale. It would be a true Sophie's Choice, though. That would be so hard. But I understand what you're saying. <laughs> I had to buy a squirrel yesterday. He was calling to me. <laughs> so um, I try not to take over when I do stuff. It's kind of in my nature to be a leader, obviously. Um, but I try not to take over and I try to give everyone a chance to do stuff, which I'm good at. I love to have everybody else do that. Love you, Ricky. Um, but, um, the problem is when I gave them like, okay, next week will be your week to run the group. They wouldn't plan anything like 
I would always have something for them to learn or a, a project or a ritual to do or something. And they like, were like, oh, I thought we could just get together and maybe, and I'm like, that's great. And I, if you guys want to socialize and I, I socialize after, I'll socialize before, I'll, I'm really okay with socialization, but we created this circle. I created this circle for a reason. I don't know. It might just be me. I might just be a type A personality. I don't know. I'm pretty good though. If you talk to like people within the group who came to Tarot Stock and stuff, I love giving other people stuff to do and saying go for it and letting them do it however they want to do it. I have no problem with that at all. But do it. <laughs> You know what I mean? Okay. Um, I debated whether I should show you this or not because I don't think this is going to be on sale. But maybe. Uh, this was, I just, but I, it's so cute that I just wanted to show you at least. Uh, I, I backed this thing on Kickstarter, which is um, called Witches at Work Coloring Book. And um, it's so cute. And we got several prints and this one is signed thanks for the support and look at this says hi Luna Luna everyone say hello to Luna who is back with her new heart and doing really well and you look fantastic I can't even it's amazing Holy crap, 405 pictures and still sending, wow. So yes, and Luna is home already and I, doing fabulous. I, I just, I have to say, it's been a rough week, a rough couple weeks and Luna, knowing that you are going through what you're going through and you have such a bright attitude about it and you look fantastic and you're like so positive and all that, it really helps me to stop bitching about my stupid bullshit. So I know I appreciate it. I absolutely adore you. Yes, I do. Anyways, I'm just going to show you the prints I got really quick. And then show you the book really quick. She, You are. You are doing so good. I'm so psyched. Look at this. says, um, Lady Morgana's Black Rose, Rose Absinthe. So this is like if a witch, like a witch had to do a day job and stuff, this is what she would do her day job on. This is the burlesque medium, Madame Brayona, shows nightly at midnight. <laughs> Isn't that cute? I really liked this concept. It was super cute. This is Madame was, shoot, also in the documentary, Goddess Remembered. Ooh, thank you, Tracy. I'll have to remember that. I don't think I've seen that. I'll have to watch that. Madam Forsythia's Fates and Fortunes, Astrology, Tarot and Runes, palm Palmistry, Numerology, Scrying, Crystal and Mancy, and Chronomancy. These are from a Kickstarter deck that I backed um, called uh, Witches at Work Coloring Book. And they're really cute. Then this one is Hester's Remedies, home of Hester's Handy Headache Powders. Isn't that cute? I just thought that was such a unique concept, and I loved it. So I got like five prints, I think. This one is Penumbra's, Penumbra's Polish, perfect for silver, gold, steel, aluminum, copper, blah, blah, blah. Look at, isn't that cute? I just loved the whole concept of this. I thought it was the cutest damn thing. And then the coloring book itself is awesome. And it has armadillo, right? It has 36 different witches. And on one side it has the um, coloring so you can color her in. And then on the other page it talks about who she is. So like this is Claire Bellamy, the color witch. It's and her quote is a white light has every color. A black light is just purple. <laughs> and it says school of magic, 
Chromomancy, Education, Alumni Roy G. Biv Academy, Signature Spell, Bonetary Spectral Augmentation. Her wand is Antique Cherry Wood and Sable Hair Paint Brush. Cauldron is a Porcelain Paint Pot. Familiar is a crusty, taciturn chameleon named Joy. Gemstones, rainbow hematite, and fire opal. Favorite colors, I have to choose. Guilty pleasure, brightly colored kid shows with horses. Yeah, isn't that cute? And then, so like, then the next one is, I'll try to find out if she's selling them anywhere else. This one is Boltina Zinth, the Technology Witch. I just thought they were the cutest damn things ever. Athena's books, right? We all need this coloring book. I know. Athena Myers, the Book Witch. Uh, this one is Bob's Bait Boat, Lures, Jigs, Live Bait, and Supplies. This is... Marina Mir, the Mermaid Witch. <laughs> Isn't that cute? So there's 36 different witches. I think it's to, oh wait, that was super cool. Hold on. Look at this is Bodika Boyaski, the Warrior Witch. I love these. I think they are really, really neat. Anastasia Arnesti, the costume witch. So let me, I'll find out if, um, so the, I know she's on Facebook. Her name is Bobby Berendson. There's her name. You can find her on Facebook. Um, and if you want, to um, try to see if she has extras that she's going to sell someplace. I just thought it was really, really cute. Loved, loved, loved the concept. Ah, Risa Baumgartner, the tree witch. <laughs> so I just wanted to show you guys that real quick because it was super cute. Witches at work. Love it. Okay, so I got two decks at Barnes & Noble. What time is it? I'm not going into... What time are uh, Lucy and Dave going to be on? They may know. Hexen, are you still on here, honey? Do you know? Because Popcorn Party is a go, I think, for tonight, right? Yay! Not sure? Okay. So the first one is the Numinous Astro Deck. Um, this is, now is Jack still in here? Is this the same? Um, author, you made black salt the other day. That's awesome. Nine-ish, okay. Um, is this the same? It's different. Ah, I was wondering that. When I heard Numinous, I thought, wow. I wonder if they had, you know, problems with Copyright and stuff. So this is an ast astrology deck. You work? Yay! Cool. Confusing. I know. No kidding, right? Um, so this is a deck for... I'll try to go fast, Pat, so you guys can get on before... Um, um, it's going to take me forever to stop calling a Maddie. I'm sorry. Before Lucy and Dave go on. But I noticed earlier Dave called them Maddie, too, so now I don't feel so bad. Okay, so this is an astrology deck. Um, and I loved the concept of it, so we'll see. Hi, Trudy. I mean, bye, Trudy. <laughs> I know I already said hello to you. The particles of stardust from which our soul is woven, the numinous, is the unknowable essence of our being. So that's on the inside of the box. I won't show very much of these because I didn't want to do like a, an actual walkthrough. I just wanted to give you an idea of what, what it was. Hi, Sherry. Um, so, but it talks about the signs and the houses and stuff. So I've been trying to start learning astrology for a year. Well, for more than that. 
Um, and so anything that can help me do that, I'm all for it. I don't know if these are in any kind of order, but we'll start. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Okay. We'll start here. So it has conjunction empowerment. And it says along the bottom combines with enhances, strengths, joins, forces, activates, intensifies, authorizes, aligns, allies with, concentrates, saturates, over. So that's good. So it tells you what it is. This opposition balance. So it goes through the different like square, trine, then Aquarius. Then it goes through the signs. Oh, I like that. Look at Cancer, the doula. That's gorgeous. Oh, look at Capricorn, the boss. That's gorgeous, too. Uh, and then it goes starts the houses. So it goes to the first house, and it tells you what the house does. And then second house, third house, fourth house. And then we get to the fifth house. Sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth. And then... It goes through Ascendant, Chiron, hi Dad, Jupiter, so then it goes through the um, planets, Mars, which is cool, and the book backs you up with it. Even if you learn everything about astrology, there's also, yeah, I know it. Hi Jennifer. So there's still a ton to learn. So I, you know, anytime that I can use cards to do that, that's, I can do that. For those who have my witchy Facebook page, I will be going live on there. Am I on there, Shauna? I think I am. I'm pretty sure I am. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Okay, so the other deck that I got, and I'll do a proper walkthrough of this one is um, the Bohemian Animal Tarot. Because, oh my gosh, it looked so damn cute. Like, really, it looked really cute. There was Some of the cards, I was like, oh my gosh. I This looks really good. I like animal decks anyways. Um, but this is an animal deck that, um, you know, uses animals kind of as people. I can't remember what that's called anymore. <laughs> Um, but I'll try to show you a couple cards. It's a great hard box. It's a huge book. Ooh, and it's gilded, which I did not know. And it's a big deck. That's the back. Isn't that cute? I didn't even know that was the back. Cardstock is really good. It's kind of glossy for my taste, but it's good. Look at that's Ace of Air. <gasps> love that. Love, love, love. Oh, Eight of Air, Five of Air. Okay, so they're not even in order, but that's so annoying. I hate when the publisher doesn't put them in order. Here's our Nine of Swords, Hexen. Wait, what is this? Oh, it's a Salamander. I always remember the planetary correspondences, but can't remember any sign except my own. I know, Lee, I have the same problem. Um, so let me see if I can find some of my like cards that I was like, oh, that's so cute. Oh, look at here's the three of swords. Aw. Um, Earth, which is not my favorite. <gasps> okay. Yeah, salamanders are fire. Uh, so here, look at the nine of earth. Look at it, mama squirrel. <laughs> I swear I did not know that was on there. She even has a baby squirrel on her shoulder here. How cute. <laughs> cute, cute, cute. All right, so hear that? Um, I look at the five. I like the five. The five is either emus or ostriches. Five of fire, which is wands. 
So it's like very rider weight, which means it'll be easy to um, learn. You know, it'll be a good reader because it'll be easy to read with. But it has cute little animals in there, which I absolutely love. So that's always good. Look at the six of fire. The little lion. Yeah, they're really cute. I really like them. Look at the kangaroo is the three of wands. I haven't seen a card yet. And no, I want that. <laughs> How can I attract my crush Aries? Yeah, I don't know. I'm not real great at that. I'll be honest with you. It's That is not my forte. Here's the Eight of Cups walking away. Like the Bluebird. Aw, it's the Eight of Cups. That's cute. The Four is a Koala. So cute. All right, let me get to some of the... Um, Oh, good. Maybe the majors at least are in order. Here's the fool called the innocent. Come on. This damn camera. It's glossy, which means uh, the camera has a hard time picking it up. So, question is there, Dak, regarding all the astrology signs? What do you mean, regarding? Astrology decks all have all of the signs, but there's the high priest or the magician. High priestess. Oh, with as a tarot deck. Hmm. You mean that their correspondences for the tarot? Here's the goddess. The goddess is an ant. It's a queen ant. Oh, okay. I really like that one. Uh, there's a great deck that I haven't gotten yet on Etsy, and it is called, I believe it's called the Magical Correspondences Tarot. I believe. There's the god. Um, and that has all the all the symbology you could ever want on there and more. It has all the Kabbalistic symbology, the shaman, ah, uh, ant or bee. Oh, wait. No, I think it was an ant. Hang on. Ah, you're right. I got to put my glasses on more. Yes, it was a bee. You're right. Anyways, I, I think it's called Magical Correspondences Deck. I'll um, message you with it. It's got a million different symbols on it. The other one that has symbols is the um, same, the Night Sun Tarot, which is the same guy who did Hexen, help me out. What's the other deck he did that we love? Night Sun Tarot and, oh, the Santa Marta deck. The Lovers are Owls. Oh, wait. Or something else. I don't know. Okay, that one I'm not sure. This is, oh, that's cute. This is the Chariot, which is the Carousel. That's super cute. The warrior. I will, I'll message it to you, sweetie. The solitary or the hermit. Yeah, I really like this deck. <gasps> the wheel of fate. I love that. Consequences. Love it. The suspended man or the hanged man. Horse is a bat. Cute. Death. Oh, oh, he's good. Come on. There you go. Really like this deck. Here's moderation. Hey, Chase. How are you? 
My buddy Chase is here. The lower world. Oh, look at, wow, that's an interesting devil. Get off of my table. Psst, Luna, come on. Don't make me throw something at you. Hey, psst. you don't listen for that. I don't have anything light that I can throw at you either. Hey, you, get down. Look at me. Good, my friend. Introducing my friend to the tarot. He wanted to see. Ah, well, hello. I am really good. Missing you. Again, haven't seen. Hi, Dalton. Nice to see you. Chase is the best. I don't know. We got to figure out what we're doing, Chase. You got you to gotta do something. I think Chase, you know what, Chase? I think you should come to um, Witchy Palooza next year. And we'll have you teach something about the tarot. The tower is the rook. Oh, that's kind of cool. Look at that. It's ravens. It is right at my house, and we go camping. You can bring your tent and camp right here at my house. Everybody had a ball last year. I think you should come. It's outside of Rochester, New York. The star is a unicorn. All right. Awesome. I'll give you the details. It's in June. June, it's like the week, starting the 18th. See, even more of a reason you all should come. Now I'm going to have Chase teaching something about tarot. Yay. Yes, Deb Hotel. And there's a hotel close. Um, but it's the week starting the 18th. It's, I think it's 18th through the 25th. Yay, I'm excited too. I adore you. I'm so glad. I love this judgment looking. Pat, there is no try. There is do or do not. In the words of my idol Yoda, you must. We will figure something out. I love that judgment card. Love, love, love. Mother Earth. Ah. It's a try. June 18th through the 25th. Twenty-fifth is your fiftieth birthday. Yay! Yay! Thank you. The universe. It's a funds and schedules at work. All right, well, we're going to figure out the funds. I'm going to start. Um, we got an idea today, actually. And, um, well, I suppose we can talk about it really quickly. One of the things that we're going to do is we're going to start, um, like, bi-weekly. Every other week, we're going to come on and do tarot readings. And we figured we'd do, like, I don't know, like, five bucks a reading or something. And come on and we'll have two different, you know, people in our group do the tarot readings every other week. And all that money we're going to put into um, the uh, fund so that if you don't have the money to come, we can help as many people out as we can. So I'm going to put a, a post on the Facebook group. And if you're interested in being one of those people that we can call on once in a while to do tarot readings for like five bucks a pop and you donate that into the fund... Um, then you, I'll have you sign up there, and we'll do um, tarot readings. We figured on Facebook Live, um, and we'll try to do them that way. Yay! Chase is in. I love it. I'm putting you down. I love it. I love it. So it'll turn out to be, you know, a couple times before then that with, hopefully, with a, another, like, enough people that want to help us out with it, then we'll, you know, you only have to do... Two or three maybe before then. Still at the point of I need to be in person. That's okay, Pat. If you can't, you can't. And that's okay. I have no problem with that. Believe me. We're fine. I totally understand. It's okay. 
So, um, we'll do that. I'm going to, well, really, I, we need to have a, a big live about Witchy Palooza and all the fundraising stuff that we're going to try to do. With, so, I'll try to do that um, at the end of the week. Ah, uh, Pat, it's just about building confidence, honey. It really is. It really, the more readings you do, the more confident you are. And that, for one thing, I want to make sure that people understand. We're not saying that these are, you know, I don't know. I, I don't want to say they're not professionals either. But that's why I only want to charge like five bucks. Because I want everybody to get some practice. And I want us to be able to, um, you know, do some readings for people. That they can get cheap readings. And everyone get practice doing them. Um, and we'll see. And then, you know, if you can't do that, oh, first of all, Pat, you and Shauna have, like, amazing crafty talent that you can sell stuff if you want to donate some of that back. Um, you're too chicken. See, you got to, more Witchy Palooza this time can be more um, tarot, too. We didn't do a whole lot of tarot. We did a whole lot of shopping. Um... And I still want to do the shopping part of it, too, because the flea market was great to teach people how to look at stuff differently and all that. That was great. But um, definitely I want to incorporate more tarot into that and even, you know, have a couple classes where we just do readings on each other to practice. Because some people don't have people that, you know, they can practice on that they feel comfortable with. And it's, it should not be not enough shopping. <laughs> It should not be, um, like, you shouldn't be scared of what if you say something wrong. Because that's the whole point of tarot, guys, is to get out there and really practice. Flip that card and tell people what you think. That's the whole point of intuitive tarot. I agree. More shopping. I already love the shopping. Some candles. No, don't send them to me. We're going to, yeah, pop-up shop. That's a good idea. Um, we're gonna, everybody is gonna sell from where they are, so there's not shipping for one place, and then shipping to another place, and then all that kind of stuff, so you'll be responsible for shipping it out to the customer who buys it. We just haven't quite figured out, then I'll have, I think I'll have you put it into my PayPal. I have separated my PayPal so that there's a space in my PayPal, which is not gonna be touched, and I'll just, I figured I'd just, like, take a screenshot every couple months or something of the balance, Hopefully you guys trust me enough, you know, to know that I'm not going to take all that. And I'll do a screenshot of this is what we have in the balance so far. There's $40 in there right now. For, wait, there might be a little more. 42 Something. For, 40 something So, I know, I know. But I want to make sure. So, what I'll do is just have you, whatever profits come back from it. All right, Chase. I will keep in touch with you, I promise. I love you, sweetie. Um, whatever profits you get from it, just send it into my PayPal account or into this specific. It has its own link, which I linked in the Facebook group once, but well, I'll, you know, I'll make sure you all have it and we'll put it in one of the files. It might be a file already. <laughs> yes, and I did. I did post that separate PayPal thing. Um, but I'll make sure, you know, I highlight it and say, okay. <laughs> All right. Um, so I'm going to let you go so that uh, Sean and Pat can go on if they want to. And then um, Lucy and Dave will be doing popcorn party tonight. So yay. I love you guys. And I will see you tomorrow. Don't forget tomorrow is a special tea party. Um, we're going to, somewhere around 11, 1130, somewhere around there, we're going to do special tea party with um, Gigi. And you all will get to meet Gigi and see who she is. So don't forget. I love you guys. We'll talk to you tomorrow.